Hello, welcome to Garage Football. In this video, we're going to give you a post-match reaction to England's first group game of the World Cup against Tunisia. So, Bill, we won 2-1. Come on, England! All right! Now, what, what a start. You know, we, we it's what we needed. We said in the in our World Cup preview, we wanted England, England to you know play on the front foot and you know pass through intensity and and go for the win. We certainly did that, even though we were up against it, especially in the second half. But now, what a brilliant performance and uh, a well-deserved three points. Mm, absolutely. What do you think? I think the first half we were uh, brilliant. We were we were showing kind of like that Southgate's tactics were working. Yeah. Pressing, you know, showing that we wanted this, yeah. And we, we looked like a team as well, you know. We, we it wasn't just like a, a, a sort of bunch of individuals, it was a team, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna be a little bit negative now and say that we did miss some pretty kind of oh, yeah. that first half easy chances, yeah. So I was a bit disappointed that we didn't win like three or four one, mm. um, but. On the whole, I'd say you know we we show great team spirit. We should should never have sort of conceived that penalty really. Yeah. Even though it was a penalty, but then what about you know when Harry Kane was taken down? It was like if it'd been WWE mode, <laughs> wasn't it? In the Jim Ross and commentary again, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> like a spear, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a bit edge would have Goldberg. <laughs> edge and Goldberg would have been proud of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you say, first half we we started off so. Brilliantly, right from the first whistle, that we were pressured their back line. Um, we passed crisply, you know, with good good speed and you know running off the ball, and we played it like it was a Premier League or Champions League game. Mm. You know, I feared we'd just be slow and ponderous, like we have been in previous tournaments. But as you say, the, the players know exactly what their roles are. Gap, you know, Southgate's tactics, then the players know what they're doing. And they seem to be enjoying passing the ball from the back and and playing with intensity, and they're used yeah. to it. So we created so many chances. We took the lead. We'll see Harry Kane after what 10, 11 minutes it was, and it was we had even that chance before that. Like Lingard had that chance that was well saved by the goalie, and Stone had the, a chance, but it was, it was offside. But he fluffed it anyway. Mm. Um, but so the pressure was building. You know, it was a great cross from. Uh, from Ashley Young, was it, from the corner. Mm. John Stone's bullet header, brilliantly saved by the goalie, and then uh, Harry Kane taps it in. That's that's the uh, advantage of not having your striker take corners. <laughs> I don't know he was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. Good performance, and, you know, it's a bit of a record for England. Only the third time in our World Cup history that we won the first, you know, the opening game. So our first yeah. one since 2006, actually, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, against Paraguay, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's... About time coming that we uh, got off to a winning start. So it's showing positive signs. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we can take this kind of positive energy against Panama on Sunday. Yeah. Well, I mean, we got off to a, obviously a winning start, but uh, Tunisia got back into it, didn't they, in the first mm. half, totally against the run of play. Uh, it was about 30, 35 minutes into the first half. The cross come in, and Kyle Walker, you know, basically put his arm up, and then the Tunisia attacker basically running through his arm. It was a bit, seemed a bit soft, but it, it was a penalty, wasn't it? What do you think? Yeah, it was a penalty. Uh, at first, I thought it was a bit harsh, but yeah, looking back at the replay, yeah, yeah there's no two ways about it. But yeah. Pickford nearly got a hand to it. Well, he did get a hand to it, only fingertip, but yeah, he nearly kept it out. But I just think good it was, penalty. Yeah, it wasn't a bad penalty, but I think it, it was so easily avoidable. Given away that that penalty, like what, like Rio Ferdinand summed it up in the, in his uh, analysis, like Walker should have had his back to the goal mm. rather than facing the goal like he was. He so he could have double vision. Well, he could that he couldn't see the attack, could he at all? So you know that was the only way it looked like Tunisia were going to actually score against us was we we make a mistake and they they take advantage. Mm. They didn't. They didn't look a threat at all, did they? Threat the whole night. No, and I think that's why I was slightly disappointed. The fact that we pretty much dominated, but yeah. didn't score more goals. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, Harry Kane got the the winner at the end, so we we won two one. So it's it's positive. It's a great start for us. Yeah. So let's hope we can take that to Panama on Sunday. 
Do you think we can win? Well, well we should have been easily, shouldn't they? Like Belgium beat, beat them 3 0, so I imagine a similar score on Sunday. But this will give us great confidence. You know, like too many times we've started off sluggishly and getting draws to start start our group our group passage. So that's no, good to get a winning start. Hopefully just bang a few in on Sunday and then the pressure's off against against Belgium, you like to think. But well, I, I like what I like today, Ryan, especially in the second half, was even though we weren't creating clear cut chances like we were in the first half, we still played the right way. Mm. We're still trying to pass forward Positive football. and get the ball in the box and create something rather than panicking and just lumping the ball out the pitch. We, we try to we, play the right, right way. Which we probably wouldn't have had had Big Sam would have been there today. Well, or Roy Hodgson. We saw it against Iceland, didn't we, in the Euros yeah. 2016. Like, as soon as Iceland got back into the game, we just we froze. Mm. You know, just completely panicked, didn't know how to play. Whereas tonight, we kept playing, kept plugging away, even though, you know, the Tunisia had that rubber the green with the you know, decisions from the referee, and they defended better in the second half. They were a bit sharper than us. Um, but we kept going, and in the end, we got our rewards with uh, that star man, Harry Kane, at the end. Oh, it was an incredible moment. <laughs> it was. Well, like, I said, you know, with about 10 minutes to go, we'd get one big chance, is whether we take it or not. I thought that would be our chance when Rashford... Um, he left the ball that was cut back from Ruben Loftus Cheek. He had a great impact as as a sub. He left it for Jesse Lingard, who then didn't shoot. So I thought, is that our chance? But yeah, right to stop which time Harry Kane pops up with the goal. Yeah, I must say though, yeah, fantastic moment with Harry Kane, and ultimately got us the win. But I was a bit surprised he didn't bring on like Jamie Vardy or Welbeck or someone like that. You know, someone I know he brought on Rashford. Yeah. But just, I'd have thought you'd have given it a bit more of a attack force. But well, I think, I think what would have been the easy option is if, if Southgate kept it the same, because we played well. But you know, we needed that second win, didn't we? Of course we did. And yeah. Marcus Rashford and Ruben Loftus Cheek, they both had an impact. They didn't didn't score, but like they kept England up the pitch, and they they were in the game constantly. So. A fair play to Southgate because it's not like he he left it with five ten minutes to go. He gave them a good amount of time for them mm. to to get into the game and make an impact. So, and that's what you want. You want options from from the bench. Too many times we've we've played the same starting eleven constantly, not trusting the squad. Whereas we did tonight, and I'm sure there'll be some changes on on Sunday against Panama. But it's nice to have competition for places. It keeps. Keeps the players hungry and Absolutely. the energy will be used tonight, especially in the first half. You could see that that made a difference. Hopefully, they the can sort of translate that and transfer it over to the next one. Well, yeah, well, you can see the drop off in the second half, so I'm, I'm sure there'll be changes for Sunday. But yeah, it's nice to have uh, good options. Indeed, but on the whole, positive game. Yeah, three points, great performance, can't complain. Indeed. Bring on Sunday. Come on, England. Come on, England. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching this video. You know what to do, please subscribe and give us a little thumbs up and also follow us on Twitter at garage underscore football. Let's enjoy the rest of the tournament. Come on England! Come on England!